November 19th. I just dropped off Cody. He actually has to work today. He don't usually work Sundays, but because um, the grocery store isn't open until, I mean, since the grocery store is not open on Thanksgiving, he is going to have Thursday off. So they made him work Sunday. Um, the good thing is he gets an extra dollar an hour on Sundays, so at least he's making like a little bit more money today. Um, but today I have off. I work this week, so like this was my weekend off, and then I go back to work tomorrow. Um, and actually all this week is just morning shifts for me, so that's going to be kind of exciting just to be home in the afternoons and... Um, you know, I really like having, like, doing the night shifts in the terms I can be home in the mornings. But sometimes it's nice to also be home in the evenings and actually cook dinner and have dinner with my husband and all that. Because I don't get to do that very often now that I do the night cooking position. So, um, I'm going to head home. I'm actually in pajamas. Like, who really cares, right? I was just, like, saying to my husband, because he's like, I love your pajama pants. And I'm like look who cares no one's gonna see me i'm not getting out of the car i'm just gonna go back home i'm gonna go home and like i am kind of in a funk today just because i'm in such a mood to um shop if i'm being honest all i want to do is go go shopping like i really wanted to like actually get dressed and take cody to work and go to tj maxx but we just don't have the money like today i we have like mm, $500 but then like the car payment's gonna come out so then we'd let be left with like a hundred and something dollars and it's just like obviously it would be so um irresponsible of me to just like go blow all our money but I just have to keep telling myself today that like Friday I get paid and Friday's also Black Friday and I'm gonna go shopping it's gonna be more fun um but I do have like I've pretty much like Cody's really hasn't given me Christmas ideas but like I've actually pretty much honed down all the Christmas gifts I'm going to probably get him. Um, I don't know how much he actually watches my videos. I don't think he does. He's subscribed to my channel, but I don't think he watches my videos. But I got him this Marvel countercade thing. Um, I'll leave a picture of it like right here from Target. It was on sale at Black Friday. I can have a link down below if you guys have like a boyfriend or a husband who's into video games. Um, of course, by the time you're seeing this, I don't know if it's really going to be on sale. I only got it for a hundred dollars, but regular price is like 130, which still isn't like terrible. I don't think. Um, so I got that for him and I got him a new wallet cause he has this wallet that he's had since our wedding. Uh, his dad got it for him and it's just like one of those little like card holder wallets. Um, and it's just starting to fall apart and he like, he doesn't necessarily want a new wallet because he like, you know, wants it for the sentimental value, but I have pretty much convinced him like, maybe you should get a new wallet though and start using it so that way you can actually keep this sentimental thing that your dad got you versus if he keeps using it and it completely falls apart and then he might have to throw it away. You know what I mean? So I got a new wallet. That's probably going to be from the cats. That sounds lame, but do you guys do that? I always have one gift that's from Miles and Gus to Cody. Um, so I'll probably get him like a wallet and like some, like some sort of like clothes and that, that will be from the cats. We did decide we're getting each other five gifts this year. So, so far I have two of the five. Um, I also saw this thing that I want to get him, Funko Pop. You can make like yourself into a Funko Pop and I, Cody collects the Funko Pops, Cody and I. I buy them from time to time too now to add the collection, but I kind of want to make Cody into a Funko Pop. I think that'd be so funny. Um, so I think I might do that. And then there was like one more thing that I was so tempted to get him this morning, but then I was like, I should wait to buy him more gifts. Oh, he, he has asked for a Stanley. He has like a knockoff Stanley from Timu, but he doesn't love it. So I think I'll buy him a real Stanley cup this year um I think I found one on Target that's like a navy blue that he would probably like so I think I'll get him a real Stanley cop and what else I think that leaves like one gift which honestly will probably end up being like a video game there's a video game there's like tons of video games that just came out that he wants like I think there's like a new Mario game and um 
There's some other games I know that he probably wants. So, probably get him something along those lines. I don't know, like, his mom and his brother always get some video games. So, like, if I can, I try to get him, like, more things or really things that he might need. I can't say what I got my sister because she does watch my videos. Um, and my brother, I don't know what to get him yet. He's probably just getting a gift card from me. And then his fiance, I don't know what I'll get her. Or maybe I just get them like a big, maybe I should get them like a gift card to like a restaurant they like and have it be like enough money that it's like for the both of them, you know? And Cody's family, um, we did buy his mom this cool gift. It's like this um, digital picture frame from Best Buy because I have a Best Buy credit card and it has like a Wi-Fi thing so that way like we can actually send pictures to her photo frame so like you know um my brother-in-law is and his wife is gonna have a baby they can like send pictures of the baby to it Cody and I have a kid next year we could send um pictures of the baby to it you know just I think it'd be, I think it's a good gift. So, um, we might get her something else. It just depends. She hadn't really given us anything yet of what she wants, but, um, yeah, I just thought that was a good gift. Well, I'm going to go inside. I'm actually getting hungry. So I don't know if I should start making dinner. I made breakfast at eight and I made those high protein oats from Bob's Red Mill. So did it keep me full very long? No, no, not really. Um, I think if I'd added stuff to it, cause all I did was apples and peanut butter. But if I added more stuff to it to up the protein even more, I don't know. Oatmeal is always good in theory, but then I feel like I'm not hungry. I feel like I get hungry a few hours later. I just don't know. Like I want to up my proteins in the mornings, but I don't always want eggs and I always, and I don't always want yogurt. So then it's like, what else should I do? Anyways, I'm going to go inside and probably make an early lunch. Um, we have a bunch of leftovers from yesterday. I honestly wouldn't even care if I had tacos for lunch and dinner. So I might make like a taco salad for lunch and then have actual tacos tonight. So yeah, I'll check in a little bit, I guess. Okay, there's my taco salad. I got lettuce, tomatoes, taco meat that I warmed up with some rice. Um, I put some cheese, some pickled jalapenos from Trader Joe's, Taco Bell hot sauce, ranch, and then those are like Quest tortilla chips and taco flavor. I'll put a picture on the screen of what they look like, like, um, they are the texture of the chips are not the same like you have to almost get used to it but the flavor is good so i figured crushed up on the salad it will be pretty good and i'm gonna watch the full length version of the muppets christmas carol gotta make do with the lighting you have so cody messaged me saying he got out an hour early so that's exciting so we're gonna go get him actually works out because I don't love driving in the dark so the fact I can go get him right now and hopefully be home before it gets too dark perfect so since we last spoke I had my lunch had the taco salad was really good and has kept me full all day I haven't needed to snack or anything so i don't know i want to try more of those quest protein chips but the texture man but in the salad like crushing them up over the salad that was fine so maybe i'll look into more of those i also really want to try the wild chips have you guys heard about these oh my cuteness someone has like lights on their house so it looks like on one of their like ledges on their house it, it looks like there's a tree and reindeer i'm so excited for like everyone else to have their christmas lights up because that's like one of my favorite things to do is just to, like drive around and look at christmas lights i've thought about going to the botanical gardens this year um they do like christmas ooh, christmas lights so um 
I, sorry, I got distracted because that truck almost hit me. Um, I want to kind of go to the Botanical Gardens this year. It's this place in Maine, a couple hours away from us, I think. Um, maybe we'd get like a hotel room for a night. But basically, like, they deck out this Botanical Gardens in Christmas lights. Like, the whole thing is just Christmas lights. And in fact, my first year vlogging, I want to say my that was the year my sister and I went to the Botanical Gardens. And I actually couldn't film it because my phone died. Because I think it was already dying, if I remember correctly. And, like, your phone, especially, I feel like now... Um, your phones are a lot, phones are a lot better than they were when I was vlogging six or seven years ago. But, um, we like, like your phone does not like the cold. So I think like it was like on its last leg and I thought I could have like enough to enough battery, but then the cold like drained the battery. So that would be kind of cool. Um, I do think, I don't know if they'll do it this year, but there was a couple places near me that had almost a similar vibe, just obviously not as big as the Botanical Gardens. But that one, Botanical Gardens would require us to get a hotel room, whereas going somewhere around here would not. Um, but last we spoke, I ate that taco salad, which was good. Oh, the wild chips. Ugh. I keep seeing them on TikTok and they're like made out of chicken or something. And they're from people are finding them at Target and I do see that they are on Target when I go and look on the app. I'm wondering if I want to try them. I heard that the buffalo wing ones are good and I've also heard they have like a chicken and waffles flavor that's good. So maybe, um, I don't know. I just feel like everything in moderation, like you don't necessarily need to go out and get all these weird gimmicky like substitutions. If you want some chips, just have some chips, you know? Um, but anyway, so, uh, ate lunch, watched Bubba's Christmas Carol, had another cup of coffee to keep myself awake. I ended up falling asleep for 20 minutes, but that's fine. 20 minutes isn't, you know, an hour or so. It shouldn't affect me too much tonight. And just, I've been editing, honestly, Day two of Vlogmas took me a long time to edit. I have to tell you guys that vlog ended up being 20 minutes and I had taken it from a 40 minute vlog to a 20 minute vlog. Cause now that I'm trying to be more um, caring, I guess, like to be honest, uh, in the past when I would edit vlogs, I would just like slap all the clips together and kind of edit out some parts but for the most part you were seeing them like pretty much unedited I pretty much put the clips together and exported it but um you know I've started trying to get more in the habit of because also once I got to the end of the vlog it's like you're already watching through the clips once as you're editing them so then once I got to the end I would just export it and this time right now and I'm gonna hopefully try to get back into doing it is then re-watching the whole video once you're done so that way you can edit out even more and that's just what I did on day two because I do feel like I rambled on for a lot a lot and then I kept um I kept like um like getting bored with myself because I felt like I was rambling and I was like repeating myself. Like I felt like there was multiple clips where I was talking about the same thing. So then it was just, um, yeah. So I just, I edited out a lot of just me talking. Um, but I still think it was a pretty decent vlog. I am trying to get better. Um, it's just hard because I am just a normal person and this is what you followed me for but I don't necessarily do a whole lot. Some days I do, like today was my day off. I sat on the couch and it's not like I'm gonna film eight hours or whatever of me sitting on the couch, you know? So that's why you only see me like having maybe a conversation with you in the car and then the next clips like the next day or like whatever is cause usually besides that, I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, you guys were being bad. Oh, Gus is leaving me. We've ordered Chinese. 
we just weren't feeling tacos tonight. And I saw, like, a picture of, like, crab rangoons on Facebook. I don't like crab rangoons, but it made me think of Chinese food. And I'm like, oh, my God. So we've ordered it. But we made a pack together that if we add Chinese tonight, we're going to have um, the tacos tomorrow. So, leftover tacos will happen. Probably if I hadn't have had a taco salad for lunch, I would have been more like, ooh, let's have tacos. But, um, alas, that was dumb on my part. So, but anyways, Cody's upstairs putting on comfy clothes. And then I think we're going to bring down the Christmas tree. So, maybe we'll put that up. <laughs> 